tell you about the nerve supply of the hind limb. So the hind limb is supplied mainly by the lumbar, lumbar sacral plexus. So lumbar sacral plexus has two parts, lumbar plexus and the sacral plexus. Okay, lumbar plexus uh, gives rise to a cranial part and the caudal part. So the cranial part, uh, the uh, nerves are L1, L2, L3. Mm. Okay, the cranial part that is the L1, L2, L3, L4 uh, names are L1 is the ilio hypogastric nerve, L2 is ilio inguinal nerve, L3 is genito femoral nerve, L4 is lateral cutaneous femoral. Now the caudal part gives rise to two nerves, L6 and L. L5 and L6. L5 is the femoral nerve. So this is the femoral nerve, mainly supplying the uh, hind limb, and this is the obturator nerve. This is the L6 or obturator nerve, and this obturator nerve is very superficial in case of uh, bovines. That is the reason uh, it's very. Uh, hmm. it's, this uh, obturator nerve is very much prone for obturator nerve paralysis, uh, in which there is a frog sitting posture. Okay. This is about the lumbar plexus. So we'll study about the sacral plexus. So this is the sacral plexus, gives rise to three nerves, namely cranial gluteal, ischiatic and the caudal gluteal. Mm. Okay, now we'll uh, come to the lateral aspect of the hind limb, where the ischiatic nerve, which is the largest nerve of the body runs. So this is the ischiatic nerve, uh, which is the main branch of the sacral plexus. It runs between the, the greater trochanter of the femur and the ischial, uh, tuber ischiae. So in between these two bony prominences, the uh, ischial nerve runs. So the branches of the ischial uh, nerve are, so these three are the branches, uh, are called as the muscular branches, uh, which is mainly supply the uh, uh, gluteal biceps. So this muscle is the gluteal biceps, it is supplied by the muscular branches of the ischiatic nerve. The next branch is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the leg. So this is the lateral cutaneous nerve. This branch is the peroneal or tibula, uh, peroneal or fibular nerve. Okay. Then the ischiatic nerve will continue as the uh, tibial nerve below the uh, hmm. the uh, tibial nerve will pass down the uh, hind limb in between the two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle. Okay, we'll study about the nerve supply to the hind limb. Uh, the ischiatic nerve, after giving uh, rise, after giving the muscular branches to the uh, gluteal biceps will continue down as mainly peroneal nerve and the tibial nerve. Okay, the peroneal nerve is the one that supplies all the extensor muscles, whereas the tibial nerve is the one that supplies uh, all the flexor group of muscles. So the peroneal nerve will divide then into it will divide into deep branch and the superficial branch. The superficial branch here it's continuing downwards, whereas the deep branch also uh, both the superficial and deep branch will continue uh, till the digits to form the proper uh, digital uh, nerves whereas the tibial nerve will give rise to middle plantar and lateral plantar so there's a middle plantar and lateral plantar it will also uh, continue down uh, to give branches to the digits okay this is the dorsal aspect of the hind limb this is a middle uh, plantar aspect of the hind limb so dorsal aspect as i told superficial branch of the peroneal nerve and there's a deep branch of the peroneal nerve coming uh, forming from both common and uh, proper nerves Whereas on the plantar aspect, it is only the tibial nerve which is coming, which will divide into middle plantar, lateral plantar, and gives rise to uh, common and proper nerves of the plantar aspect of the hind limb.